More than 1,000 animals have died on this Northern Cape game farm over the last few months, as South Africa's entire Kalahari region is being crippled by one of the worst droughts locals have ever seen. We are trying to go on um, as, as we are at the moment, but it's only going to be so, so long before our, all our resources are, are, are out and, and we don't have any money left to do what we do. Turu Lodge, like so many others in the area, is heavily reliant on international hunters to keep the business afloat. But recently, none have arrived. Unfortunately, the, the drought forced us to, to place all our bookings on hold. Um, we can't book a guy coming from overseas, having the, the safari feeling and trying to give him the best safari he ever had. But, but he, the, the animals that's here are very skinny. And, and is dying. They currently spend around $14,000 a month just on feed, trying to keep the animals they have left alive. This job goes to one of the few remaining staff members, Paul. He has been on the farm for 28 years and always depended on tips from visitors to supplement his income. But this year, he struggled just to get his kids ready for school. <laughs> I needed to borrow money this year just to buy them books and stuff. The years before I had the money. Things are tight, much worse than before. A few kilometers away, lifelong commercial farmer Johann Steenkamp admits he can't keep going on like this past March. Uh, Our animals are really suffering. We have lost many animals. At this stage, I have between 30 and 40 percent of my herd left. Everything else either died or we had them slaughtered. Even as the region enters its much-anticipated rainy season, the farms and their animals will need more than a year to recover, and many simply don't have that long.